Let's go to example 9. Okay. It goes like this. We need to determine the temperature of water at a stage of P equal to 0 0.5 megapascal and H equal to 2890 kilojoule per kilogram. Okay. As you can see, we have a pair of value. We have the pressure and the specific enthalpy given. So it means that the state is fixed. But whether it's saturated or superheated or compressed, we need to check, okay? We need to check. First of all, here, let me illustrate you how we can check this. Okay. First of all, we will go to the saturation table. Here, because it's water, so we first go to, because we have given the pressure, so let's go to table A5. The reason is that we are given the H here, but we don't know whether this H lies within the values for the saturated state or not. So we need to know whether this H lies within it. So let's go to table A5. And for 0 0.5 megapascal, it is equivalent to 500 kilopascal. So 500 kilopascal, and the enthalpy values are here. 2748.1 is the Hg. At the saturated vapor state, the specific enthalpy is 2748. However, our H is 2890. So that means the Hg is equal to 2748.1, which is less than 2890. It means that it should be superheated. As I've mentioned, for superheated vapor, it has a high enthalpy. H is greater than Hg. We make use of this to see if it's superheated or not, okay? This feature, you need to remember this, especially the first two, okay? For 3, 4, 5, uh, they will be less frequently used, okay? But the first two, in the subsequent chapters, you will see that they play a very important role for us to decide what property table should we consult, okay? So we know that it's superheated, so here we go to the superheated table. That means table A6, okay? We'll go to table A6, and uh, because it's a 0 0.5 megapascal, let's see. Here, we have this value for the saturated vapor, and our target value is 2890. This value lies between these two, 2x5.8 and 2961.0. That means the temperature should be between 200 and 250. But how can we find out this temperature? Okay, again, we use what we have seen in the previous examples. We will use linear interpolation. Okay, here I will show in detail on how we can determine this. First of all, let's draw a diagram relating to our two value. Because we need to use the FOP value to help us find the temperature, so we will draw H against T. And we have two points that are known. One is at a 200 degrees C, okay, I omit the unit, and one is 250, okay, and their corresponding enthalpy value will be 2855.8 and also 2961.0, okay. After that, although we do not know the actual curve or the actual variation of this H with respect to T, but we know that it's increasing, so we will use a straight line to link these two points up. And what we need to find is that we need to find out as 2890 kilojoule per kg was the corresponding temperature. Okay, as I've illustrated, we will use one property in a strict line graph that is a slope equal to slope. We will take a two known points to calculate the slope, and then we find out the slope of these two points and then we equate to the known slope, and then we can find out this t. Okay, and uh, let me show the step. So. We first find out the slope here, so we have 2961.0 minus 2855.8 divided by 250 minus 200 equal to the slope of some points, okay? Because our target is this one, so we need to use this point, okay? Either to find the slope between these two points or these two points, because we know that these three points are collinear. So for convenience, we just pick this point as well as this point. So 2x90 minus 2x55.x divided by t minus 200. Okay, and you will find that t equal to 216.3 degrees C, or to three significant figures, 216. Okay, so this is our general step. 
Okay, so here I have illustrated how we can use different tables for giving us the information, okay? In order to determine whether this pure substance is at saturated, superheated, or compressed state, we would uh, always first start with a saturated table and we see the properties at the saturated liquid state and the saturated vapor state and see if that value exactly matches the saturated liquid or the saturated vapor. If it is in between, then it is a saturated liquid vapor mixture. If it is out of the saturated liquid or saturated vapor value, then it will be either compressed state or in a superheated state. Okay. We need to always use different tables simultaneously in order to find out the properties that we want. Okay. I will show this in the next few examples. Okay. So that's example nine.